Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, let us discuss about the third data structure called Array of Hashes. This data structure holds a list of hash references. You can create this in two ways by just using a simple array symbol at the rate array name and enclose all hash references in normal brackets. To declare this array of hashes in a second way is by using a reference. Just use a dollar symbol array name and enclose all these hash references in square brackets. Now to access the value in this hash reference, just use dollar array name as our hash references are in an array, you have to give a index number. Let's say I want to give 0. I want to access this value in the first index. 0 as our hash reference starts with curly brace, we have to use an arrow symbol. Then give the key name. This is how you can access the value in the hash reference. Second way if you want to access in this reference then just use dollar array name as our array reference starts with square brackets that means we have to use an arrow this is in 0th index give 0 our hash reference starts with a curly brace then you have to use an arrow symbol then give this key name. This is how you can access the value using a reference. Now let us see a detailed example. In this program, I am going to create an array of hash and generate an array of hash from a simple array. This is a simple array of hashes having three hash references. The first hash reference is in index number 0. The second hash reference is in index number 1. The third hash reference is in index number 2. To access any of the hash reference, just give the array name followed by the index number. This is going to be a hash reference. If you want to access keys of any hash reference, keys keyword followed by, you have to dereference each of the hash reference in order to access the keys. Array name followed by the index number. I want to access the keys of the hash reference where index number is 1. These are my keys. What if you want to access any value of any key? I want to access this value. Array name and then give the index number. Use an arrow symbol as this is a hash reference. That means we have to use an arrow symbol followed by the key name. This is how you can access the value of a hash reference inside array of hashes. Now what if we have the array of hashes as an anonymous array? If it is an anonymous array that means it has to get enclosed in square brackets. To access any of the hash reference first of all you have to dereference this. To dereference and then access each of the hash reference by using the index number. If you want to access the keys, then first of all dereference the array reference and then give the index number. This will give you the keys of this hash reference. If you want to access the value of any of the hash reference, then just use 
a d reference of this array reference and then give the index number followed by the key name we have to use an arrow symbol here as this is a hash reference now let us see the output this is how you can access by using the array reference now let us see on how to convert a simple array into an array of hashes for that i have created an array called lines where each scalar is a string followed by some number separated by a colon just create an empty array of hashes for each on the lines array split each line depending on the delimiter colon on the current variable i want to create only one hash reference inside this array of hashes so i have to give an index number 0 as inside it is a hash reference then i have to give an arrow mark followed by the key name which is my string name this is my string name i'm giving this as key and number as value now just print this array of hashes let's test it this is how i have converted a simple array int into array of hashes